today. Yes, thank you for joining us. Yeah, welcome. If somebody doesn't mind, give us a big old thumbs up if you can hear us, please. Because we had some microphone issues last time. Mm -hmm. Trying to avoid that. Definitely trying possible. to avoid that. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully it's working. Hopefully you can hear us. Yeah. Or else we just look like idiots talking <laughs> and nobody can even hear what we're saying. Yep. Yep. But hopefully it's rolling. Let's we appreciate see. you guys tuning in today on this, what is it, Thursday evening, Thursday. afternoon? Uh huh. Yep. Thursday at five o'clock. Thursday at five. Let's yeah. So Liz on. and I are in the mud room here today. So. We'll get this thing going up here. What's up, John Hancock? Welcome to the live stream. There we go. Hey, Gary. Oh, getting the, got to watch your own ads. We're getting this Very thing cute. pulled up so we can. What's up, guys? Welcome. Keep welcome, up welcome. on the comments. There we go. Cool. Yes. So thank you for joining us. <laughs> yeah. Um, is there a sound check? Hopefully they can sound hear us. Sound check. Let's see. You guys us. can see us here. Cool. So, a lot of you guys have been asking about um, my old back. Yeah. Yeah. So, it like totally took me out. Anybody that has back problems, um, mm -hmm. like you totally know, it's super random, out of nowhere, like it it can just hit you. And that's what it was. Um, we were just, you know, getting ready to play with that tree a little bit. Mm -hmm. And kind of like stepped weird. Or... I don't even know what it was. It's yeah. just like muscle spasm knocked me on the ground yeah um like super terrible pain super super painful mm -hmm. uh did, i went to the chiropractor the next morning chiropractor and the doctor yeah they got me set up um so i got the back brace on right now yeah probably can't even see it trying to get him to wear but, it when we're doing stuff yeah been wearing it um yeah it's who knows you know one of those who things who knows that unfortunately you have to deal with sometimes. yeah so i got knee issues mm -hmm. I got we're the getting knees. old yeah not really i think just being hard on your body is using your body yeah it's bound to break down but, but it's not as boring as that we do have a little project planned for you guys yep. today um you know it's not just hey what's up and see you later so we yeah. do have a little project that we are going to do here in the uh newly released video or to be released video you guys haven't even seen the room we're in so we are yeah. in our super secret room our super secret room. yes um yeah. and we need some lighting in yeah. here so we right now we have one light bulb right above us above that mm -hmm. little door um yep. but we need two so we're gonna yeah, wear spread it out one. a little bit so let me say hi to everybody yeah um, pop in i'm just gonna make sure we have yeah. most of the tools i think I we think got we it do. uh so david asks if were you dehydrated Probably. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Probably. Pretty typical. I think yeah. it's like a always a perfect storm. Like, have you had enough water? Did you stretch? You, what's like, your diet? Yeah. You know. All the yeah. Day. Like, did you sleep? So Anything? yeah, I, I've been working on it. Um, I've been stretching, or I'm starting to stretch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That hopefully that helps. You know, over the long run. Yeah. Um, it's vitamins. One of those things. Yeah. Can't. Yeah, but man, it is brutal. Like it takes you down for the count. Like so, so painful, you. so so painful. There's nothing I could do. Is I can almost like it seemed like you're in the kind of pain like you have like a Charlie horse in your back or something. But yeah, it's like you can feel yeah. the muscle like just. Mm -hmm. ah, that sucks. It's terrible. Yeah, I feel really it's pissed off. You. The muscle is just like ah, mm -hmm. yeah, excruciating pain. Yeah. So, how's everyone doing today? Thank you for joining us. Thank you for popping um, in, yeah. Anyone that is just popping in, Mike's, Mike's back is okay. We're just letting everyone know. He, yep, still walking. Yeah. Yeah, got the back walking. brace on. There's definitely, like, still a little pain, a mm -hmm. little sore. But not bad. Getting there. Just yeah. part of life, I guess. Haven't been doing any major project, any, any big projects. Yeah. So, mostly laying low. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a bummer, I but, know. yeah. It's getting there. Let's it's see. definitely getting there. Hopefully, we can... Do a quick full recovery. Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah, that'd be nice. No more back problems. Let's see, we no got Craig's problems. in the house. Hello, Craig. Larry is in the house. What's up, Welcome guys? Welcome, you guys. Glenn, John, Gary. All um, of you. Thanks for dropping let's in. Let's see. Hello from southeastern Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Thanks for joining the live. What's up, guys? Thanks for joining the live stream. Okay, yeah. everyone's saying our volume is loud and clear, so that's good. Awesome. We got That's people from cool. Canada, people from Japan. That's super cool. Yep, more pain. Yeah. What is up, guys? Japan, yeah. Canada, thank you. Thank you for joining What's us. Up? We're just here in our top of the evening. Our you. new room. Our super secret, highly classified room because <laughs> yeah. the video will maybe come out tomorrow, maybe Saturday. Who knows? Tomorrow is Saturday. No, tomorrow's Friday. But good try. <laughs> yep. Right. Good try. Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. Okay. Yep. Okay. I believe Thursday you. right now. Right now. We got Don from Connecticut. What's up, Don from Connecticut? Yep. 
And then off grid living with LSH says that construction over the years will do that to your back. Yes, it will. Yeah, pretty yeah. much construction my whole life is like the line of work, or work that I've been in. Mm -hmm. Where is so, you down? What's that? What am I, 28 year? So that's, yeah, yeah. 10 years of construction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lovely. At least 10 years of construction, 12. 12. Okay, so you catch up on that. Okay. Um, I'm just saying hey to everyone joining say in. Say hi on that. Thanks, thanks I for jumping just in, you guys. Scope. What we got going on today is we're going to wire up some lights. So we're in like our new kind of entryway mud. Super secret super room. Super secret room. Super secret room. Um, and we have one light in, and Mike's going to, well, I guess we're going to kind of go ahead and make sure we have two lights in here because one light is not su sufficient. So he's going to move the first one, and we're going to put a second one in. Yeah. So we had some temporary lighting up here, and this was like way, way See, back. That's the little light we got going. And uh, so we need to notch out um, a piece of our ledger, essentially. Luckily, it's not really load-bearing. I mean, it's all kind of load-bearing, but we can totally notch out mm -hmm. where we're going to notch out. Not a problem. And then we're going to punch some holes. I'll tip this up for you guys so you can kind of see what we're working with. But we're going to punch some holes through these floor joists, probably over to here and put another light. And then mm -hmm. this light is gonna be moved over to this area. So we're gonna have two lights kind of spread out across yep. the whole thing. Make it a little bit more bright in here. Um, and right now we're only gonna be running it off of one switch that we have just down at the bottom right here. Hoop, don't mean to blind you with that. But those switches kind of back there in the corner. Yep, one's for in here, one's for outside. And then best case scenario, actually I have order with um, the weird like chain of or supply chain yeah like you can't get certain things right now so like i got some switches coming two different types of switches switches is that what they are three-way switches yeah i can so we can control this light from the top of the stairs too great so that'll be nice but that'll be super easy to wire in i'm pretty sure i can just tap into the last light that's going to be in this line with wire to hook up the three-way switches i'll have to check you know the book to see the right way to do it right. um but yeah it should be super easy to just add that switch cool and i ordered smart switches oh nice yeah you guys little hack here's a little <laughs> good Excuse hack me. for amazon look for like the used stuff even like any any product if it says they have a used one most of the time it's not used it's just like a return that right. Someone didn't need They didn't want it. They, it. Most of the time, it's not a used product, and mm -hmm. it's, like, way cheaper. So, yeah, I ordered some smart light switches. Yeah, hopefully they work fine. Hopefully they work. That'll be cool. Yeah. But it's Amazon, so you can always return them. Right. Um, once we get them, we will put a link for you guys because, like, I think all that techie stuff is cool. Yeah, he, like, you wants know. a whole smart house kind oh, of I thing. think it'd be sick. Yeah. Clap okay. on. Clap off. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to catch up on some more of these. Welcome, yeah, everybody it. that's jumping in. Um, someone asked, did we get more wood yet? Not yet. Not yet. It's still on our Yeah, heavy lifting is on hold. Yeah, to-do list is to get more firewood in. Um, everyone says that you guys are getting old. I know, we are yeah. getting old. It's terrible. Yeah. James terrible. asks if you've ever had kidney stones. That's kind of, I mentioned that once. Yeah, I was like, listen I that was too. a kidney stone. Yeah. That sucked. I don't know. It was excruciating, though. Yeah. I'm going to run this oscillating tool. Do you want to take the camera over here in, like, the corner? Yeah. Then I'll mute my microphone so we don't just blast people. Okay. And hopefully it works. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. Yeah, so I'm going to mute this. I'm going to move this back to the corner. Mike's going to be over there with the oscillating tool. Did that mute on that thing? Um, it's got, like, the little line. Oh, yeah, your two. Yep, it's gone. Two is muted. Perfect. Yeah. You're good. Okay. So Hope it's not too loud. Let me know if it is. I'm just going to kind of keep catching up here. Uh, we got... Can't really hear me anyways. Wow. I don't know. I don't know if you guys could hear me at all. Yep, oh, too loud. Too They're loud. saying too loud. Okay, let's. Uh, I gotta get this cut. Okay. You want to take that upstairs just for a quick or out in the Yeah, I'll just take it in the shop. Thing here. Okay, I'm gonna take it out in the shop. Be a little quieter. I just checked earlier. I was zoning out on the. I'll be quick. Come on, dogs. Hold on. I'm gonna get situated here. Okay. Ah, 
there, maybe that's a little bit better. Can you guys hear me now or is it still way too loud? Whoa. Too loud again, okay. We're just gonna hold off for a little bit better. Okay, I could always go outside too, but we're still catching up, so Mike's in there. Okay, it's not bad, good. Cool, thank you guys, sounds good. So Mike's, he's running the oscillator tool in there. We're hooking up some wires, hook up another light, so you guys can see. So thank you guys for joining us. Um, Mike's back is doing just fine. He just needs to wear his back brace, um, I think like when we're out and about doing stuff. So like heavy lifting and you know, swinging the ax and stuff like, like that. Um, but yeah, he's doing just fine. So we're trying to just get him to wear his back brace. I see people are saying like lots of water and stretching. Um, stop. I'm gonna put these dogs outside real quick. Come on. Okay. So I have a couple of people asking what happened and Mike just had, I don't know, one of the doctors said maybe he like almost slipped a disc, but he seems to think it was like a muscle spasm that like wouldn't release. Um, so he was kind of like down just resting for a couple of days after we, he heard us back up in the mountains trying to get firewood. You got her? No, I need a hammer. Uh oh, here he comes. Um, let's see here. We've got Jennifer from Connecticut. Connecticut. Let's see, we have someone asking how's Jed's wood. eye doing. It's there. Um, Jed's eye is doing just fine. He sometimes it gets Kay. itchy, like you now and again, this? and you can tell it's a different color than the other one. But it doesn't seem to bother him too bad. Um, someone said that dogs were quiet, but to me they're loud because they're just like sitting here whining, and it drives me crazy. So I just put them outside, and they can play out there. They love it. Julie's here from Canada. Welcome. Um, the dogs need some treats. Yeah, they they get plenty of treats. They love it. <laughs> That's for sure. So you got Amanda from Georgia. Thanks for joining us, you guys. We appreciate it. Mike is, we're working on getting some lights put in, so he's just working with a couple tools in there. He says I can come back. Not too loud. I'll be a little loud with the drill, but. All right, guys. Shouldn't be so bad. Cool, so I got that notched out. You should show them what I got notched out here. I'll turn this so we're not blinding people. Oh, Actually, yeah. I can turn up it there. up. Yeah. Oh, so that notch right there. Um, we just got that out. Cool. Luckily, I didn't hit the wire. For a second there, I thought I nicked this wire, but I didn't. You missed it. I missed it, and it worked out just perfectly. Good job. Yeah. Cool. Should be a little chunk here. Let's see. We. That's what we cut out. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. So I got that wire coming out. Now, I'll just show people. Yep. I'll explain while you keep going here. Mm -hmm. But now I'm going to. <coughs> I'm gonna drill a hole here in this block right here. So that'll put the wire in this alley, I guess. And then we're gonna drill holes through each of these floor joists, which is like never fun to do. But there is a, like a code and regulation for floor joists. So the bottom two inches on these floor joists is like pretty much untouchable. You don't want to- uh, mm -hmm. Touch those. You don't want to touch that area, I guess. Okay. There is something about it. notching it. I'm not totally sure, but so when we're drilling more hole, our holes, we're making sure we're above the first two inches. Mm -hmm. That's where like the strength comes from in a board sitting this way. Yeah. That bottom cord on the <coughs> that board is I got stuff in my throat. Sorry. Oh, oh it's probably from that. Yeah. But yeah, okay. So anyway, yeah, drilling holes, and yeah, I think if Liz pops back out there for another minute or two, get those drilled. Yeah, I'm gonna pop. I don't know. Ten holes through here real quick. Okay. Yeah, and I'll show you guys what I'm using before I totally got leave that. it. Oh, Liz got it right yeah, here. Let's hold it. Perfect. This thing, impact gun with a, uh, oh, what is this? Five eighths, five eighths auger bit. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen holes to drill real quick. Okay. I'll so I'll sit back out here. So it's not time me. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to set, set the back timer, up, set the timer. Thirteen holes. 
Yeah. I'll yell, and then I'll, I'll mute this thing, and then as soon as I come back, I'll be like, ugh. Yeah, just try to, like, cover that so, <laughs> so it's I'm not, not coughing blasting. into it. Blasting, yeah. Ah, yeah. Hacking up a lung. Okay, you get set up. Go. I'll help you get set up out there. Perfect. Pull this door open. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, sorry, guys. Dropping them. A little shaky. Okay. They said they could hear you. said you could hear me fine out here, and this one shouldn't be as loud. All right, I'm going. All you right. ready? He's going. Set okay. the timer. 13 holes. Okay, I'm going to just catch up on some more comments. Uh, yep, you're good. Um, okay, I'm going to catch up on some more comments. Thank you guys for joining us. We've got 137 people in here. Thank you. Um, I told everyone earlier, but Mike's back is doing just fine. We are up in the mountains getting firewood, and he, like, tweaked it somehow weird. And he just got, like, the sharp, sharp pain, like, not in the back, and it wouldn't relax. Muscle spasm, basically. And it, he was like that for a couple of days, just in a lot of pain. <coughs> Sorry. The dust from the, that I think is like in my throat. Now I'm just coughing. But okay. It's pretty loud. Let's see. We got Chris from Green Bay. We got Steve from Hawaii. Thank you guys for joining us. Dominican Republic. You guys can hear me okay? Let me know if you can't. Are we running our Blue Eddy this evening? Not this evening. Nope. We are lucky able to be plugged into the power right now. So we're good. Uh, people saying Mike just really needs to be good about wearing his brace and like stretching and kind of preventing stuff. yeah preventing the the back from doing stuff like that I mean it's easier said than done when you've worked in construction your whole life like he has so but we got let's see I don't know if you can if it's as loud to you as it is to me I have people saying wood splitter. I definitely, like as years go on with the firewood, I would not mind having a, a like a log splitter or something like that. It can be hard going into the mountains um, to like get your firewood every time. So we'll see. We're definitely gonna like try to scrounge and make it work for this winter and then we'll see. I think as the years go on, we'll be able to like get better at it and get more efficient. Um, but we'll see how it goes. All right, let's see. Got more people from Canada. Thank you guys for joining us. We appreciate it. Oh, are you guys counting too? That's a good idea. He's getting there. I can tell where he is. He's almost there. We got people from West Virginia. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> people from West Virginia. Alberta, thank you guys for joining us on the live stream. Mike's doing just fine. He just had a really bad muscle spasm. Okay, and he's done. So how long was that? Maybe All right. Did get a timer? That was pretty quick. That wasn't the fastest ever, but... But you, yeah. Not bad. 13 5 8 holes. Oh. Your floor joists. Jeez, cords <coughs> everywhere. <coughs> Lots of equipment to pay attention now to. Now there's definitely some dust in here. Super fun. Open Kay. that up. Um, we are going to kill this light. So and hopefully, yep, there's still plenty of light here. So you guys are going to tuck you, tuck you back in the corner. Cool. Wow, 147 people. Thank you guys for joining yeah, us. Yeah, I know. If you haven't already, please smash that thumbs up button. It sure does um, help us out with the algorithm or yeah. whatever it does. But I've been told it helps us, so right. we appreciate it. Yeah. Um, if you're just get, getting caught up to speed, we got some lights being installed mm -hmm. in our new top secret classified super secret room. Mm -hmm. I know, which yes. you guys find out about later. Yep, to come. To come. So what I'm going to do now okay. is I'm going to pull this light down here see and it. take this bulb off. out. Light's coming down. This you need is a out hammer. of here. Um, you got a hammer? And I'm going to get a real hammer here in a second. Okay. And then we're going to move this one over to here. Should have plenty of cord. Within that light, that'll be like a junction box, hypothetically. Mm -hmm. Run it over to here. Cool. So, yeah. so let me get like a real that. hammer real quick. Okay, he's going to grab a real hammer. Let's see what else we got. Uh, Mike should start doing lower back exercises to strengthen the muscles around the spine. I agree. I keep trying to get him to stretch and like do yoga and stuff like that. I think that he would find that it would help him quite a bit, but it's always easier said than done, that's for sure. 
Uh, let's see, what's next for upstairs in the home section? Um, ship lap, got, ship lap, ship lap. Yeah, we always got stuff in the works, but really like we're just trying to get the walls up. And like we're not really actively trying because we really like the ship lap look. It just takes a little while for us to like mill our own and let, like, let it dry before we can put it up. Um, so really like get the walls up because we can't really start you know, like building closets and stuff like that until we have the walls installed. So that's that's really kind of it for the upstairs like next. And we hope to get a lot done this winter like when we're moving inside. Um, we want to get a lot of inside stuff done this winter so we're excited about that. Let's see. There we um, go. Let's see. We got Cornwall UK. Welcome. Thank oh, you wow. for joining What's us. Oh wow. What's up guys? Thank you. We appreciate it. So we got that light down. No power going to this right now guys. Hypothetically. Yeah. Oh man, uh, and I need a screwdriver. Let's see, are okay. you planning right for back. any flooring in the mud room? We actually have some flooring. Super secret top secret room. <laughs> Super secret top secret. Yeah, we have we have a guy, we have a friend who um, has a like flooring business, so he gives us pulls pull outs or like extras and stuff like that. So we have a big roll of like vinyl. Um, but when we get that installed, we'll make sure you guys see it. We're excited. Um, so yeah, just like a roll out vinyl flooring. Oh man, where is it? Um, there it is. That we're gonna be putting in here. Uh, let's see. The pocket door gives it away. I know it's pretty obvious where we are, but we're excited about it. Um, you guys will see it in the video, but okay. we're super stoked. So here's what we're gonna do. What's that? I'm gonna cut this. Okay. It's always a slightly scary. stressful, a little scary cutting it, make sure it's long enough. But I mean, we're gonna make it long enough. Yeah. We got one of them wire stretchers. You ever seen one of them? Uh, no. They normally sit on the shelf right next to the pipe stretcher and the board stretcher. Have you seen them over there? Mm -mm. No? No. Yeah. I haven't. Have you? Yeah. Yeah? We got one. We might need to use it here. Mm, I've yeah. never seen it. I know. So do we have any ideas? Yeah, definitely. I think building some benches with storage area would be cool. Um, shelving right. is always good. Super secret, top secret In room? In our super secret, top secret room, yeah. Um, thank you guys for joining us, 177 people. What is up, thank everybody? You. Got a little wiring project going it. on. Yeah. There was uh, the anybody that's just popping in. There was a slight back issue oh. earlier. I guess that was almost a week ago now. Yeah, I think a week ago today. Yeah, or so that um, prognosis is what? It's muscle spasm, muscle bulging spasm, disc. Yeah. We don't know. Pain. Who the heck knows? Prognosis is pain, terrible, terrible but it's pain. not bad. Yeah. Yeah, but he's yeah, it's getting he's better. Angry. I think he's got his back brace on. You can see we. He's been doing his stretches. Yep. Eating his Wheaties. Taking my vitamins. Taking, yep, he's been taking his vitamins. All right, dear, where do we want this light to go? First one about right here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so I'll pull that right there. I like it. Let's see. Look at the beauty of building your own house. Where do you want this light? I don't know. Right there looks good. It always yeah. sucks though, like when you put oh, something like somewhere perfect. and then you end up not liking it. Um, and we want it mostly in the middle, which is mostly to the right of these pieces of blocking yeah. that we got up in here. I'll kind of tip you up just to show you what we're talking about. Yep. So I just ran that wire. You saw me pulling it through the holes there. We're going to say just to my right of these pieces of blocking mm -hmm. all throughout. And that puts it pretty much in the center. And I'll show you what we're nailing up, guys. <clears throat> this is just a round box you know, made for a light. And then we have these covers that you wire into it. So this is still a temporary um, thing kind of until we get the ceiling material up to really put like some nice recessed lighting or something in there. Right. Um, but yeah, it's just once, once the ceiling is up, we'll already have the wires ran. So it's not like these are totally in vain. Right. We, we still need the wiring there. Yeah, so for sure. we're just going to be switching out the receptacle essentially. Yeah. And we'll have lights now, which is And nice. we'll have lights, yeah. Really nice. Really All right, cool. I'm going to get back to some comments, see what you guys are saying. Thank you for joining us. We really appreciate right, it. Right in the middle. We're having fun here, just kind of changing out some lights. Same well, point. away. Um, well, let's see here. Knock out some of these back knockouts. spasms. Some days they yeah. just leave Ken flat on his back. And there's nothing you can do about him either. Oh, it's I mean, terrible. you can try to prevent it, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you, you going to do? Yeah, just it's terrible pain. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining us. We appreciate it. Hope you're having a good Thursday or Friday, I guess. Depends on whereabouts in the world you are. Yeah, for real. Um, 
Yeah, we appreciate it. So we got more from Canada. Let's What's see. up, guys? Our neighbors to the north. Let's see. So is that wire you got a, a one, two, three wire to run a line to both of your switches? Does that sound familiar? This is two wire wire, um, which technically is three wires within the thing. I don't know what one, two, three wire is. This is Romex. This is 20 yeah. amp Romex. Or is it? It's 12 three, not one, two, three. Um, oh, yeah. So, yeah, this is um, this would be 10 three. 10, three. 10 two. Okay. No, 12 two. 12 two. I'm sorry. 10 two is 30 amp. Okay. This would be 12 two. Um, yeah, and yeah, so they might be talking about the three-way switch. We uh, That other wire we have that has yeah, four wires right. in it, uh -huh. that would be 12-3, okay. I believe. Nice. Yeah, so, and we're going to have to run that 12-3 from this switch to that other switch that we're going to put up there, yeah, the which should the be super easy, yeah, because we're going to have to yeah. run right under here, and then we can just drill up from underneath, right. put the switch right in the wall, wherever it's... Sitting on yeah, top of. Perfect. That'd be good. <laughs> Which Let's will. See. Yeah, if we're just waiting on those switches to get here. Yeah. Let's see. Hello from Florida. 80 degrees. 80 that degrees. Nice. Wow. Let's see, Scott just ordered his welder not too long ago. Oh, nice. Cool. Says, but it's six months out. Unfortunately. Oh man. Yeah, that sucks. Sorry. Yeah, that that's been a nice little unit. We haven't used it a whole bunch, but for the the time that we have on it. Yeah. Let's um, see. Yeah, it worked out really good. I like it. What if we put it there? What if we put it on the blocking? I can't get a nailer in there either. I gave my nailer, my palm nailer to your brother. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. To useful. Eric or to Ethan? Eric. Huh. Nice. That'll work there. Yeah, you got it. Let's see. Hopefully that's not too loud for you guys. I apologize, but. Ronnie's so asking, how much snow there. do we get on our area? Kind of depends on the year. They're uh, calling for a La Nina. Calling for a lot of snow this, this year. winter. Heavy winter here in so, Idaho, allegedly. We'll see. We will see. Yeah, um, that's one of those believe it when you see it type of things. Right, yeah, everybody can kind of so we got it, that. you never really know. But it kind of depends. Like last year we got a couple of snows, but it was just like rain, snow, melt kind of thing. It's not like when we were kids. A lot of, I don't know if a lot of you guys know, but Liz and I pretty much grew up in this area. Mm -hmm. And I remember when we were kids, man, we used to get a lot of snow, feet of snow down here in the valley. Right. The mountains get like a decent amount, but I mean, the mountains around here are The mountains like always super, stack up. Yeah, but they're not like super high mountains, you know? Like they're tall, but. No, I think one of the highest peaks around here is like 7,500 feet. Right. Um, so not super tall, but this mountains around here still get a ton of snow. I mean, they'll yeah, have 12 feet do. of snow pretty much every year by the end of the year. Yeah. And so. it's snowing in the mountains now, so. Yeah, it's already snowing up in the hills, so mm -hmm. yeah. But Actually, not in the valley. This time last year we had snow on the ground. Okay, so. We were looking at like video memories and yeah, we weren't living in this place. We were living in the camper. We're gonna put it's this like guy a snowy up. mess outside. I need my screwdriver. Um, let's see here. Hang out with you while Can I you take get this snowed part. in. We got more people from the UK. Thank What's you up, guys? guys? Us. Uh, why are you hiding it? Just because we haven't released the video yet. So our super secret top yeah. secret room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the video haven't. is. It's on our Patreon. Um, if we have any of our patrons on here, they've seen the video probably, right. or it's there for you guys to see. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's just not on YouTube yet because we like to give our patrons a little sneak peek, a, you know, a little thank you, I guess, yeah. for supporting us. So we sure. let them see the videos first mm -hmm. and um, yeah, release it to you guys a little later. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. We've got people from North Carolina, Mississippi. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank we you guys. appreciate it. Yeah. North Dakota, South Taking Carolina. Taking apart this receptacle. This is just the one I took down. Just cut it. Someone's saying there's no such thing as a board wire stretcher. <laughs> there's plenty. Yeah, there's pipe stretchers too. Never heard of a pipe stretcher. Uh, let's oh, I'm see. gonna strip this. That's not you good. Strip and screws. Let's see. Thank you guys for joining us. We appreciate it. We're getting some lights all wired up while Mike's doing the. The wiring, <laughs> Liz is doing the chat, the hosting. Ch Thank chatting. you guys for joining us. You're the hostess with the mostest. The hostess with the mostest. I like it. Yeah. Um, oh, I mean, are you sick of talking screw. about your back yet? Am I sick of talking about? No. No. Yeah. I mean, we're here to chat with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. How is everybody? I'm not sick You're of good. talking about anything. Yeah, Mike. Uh, Mike's back's doing okay. Back's doing okay. Yeah. I think it was a muscle spasm, mm -hmm. but man, did it hurt? And it's still there. 
you move it, you can like feel it. Like when you go to move, you can feel right. like when that muscle engages. And since that muscle was like traumatized or whatever, right. like it's now sore for a while. Right. But yeah, you can feel it as soon as you hit it. Like yes. that muscle, yeah, doing its thing. As soon as that muscle pulls. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, like, wait a second. Uh, uh, wait, no. It's saying no. Yeah. No, no, you're not. All right. All right. So we're going to get Thank this you guys receptacle. For joining us. You want to turn that this way, babe? I want to show these guys what we got going on yeah, here. So, where's our last area see how it's all nice and dark back in there that's all right i'll get this up quick oh, yeah we're gonna have the light and it's gonna be nice so we got a hole right here and that means this light okay, is going kind of way in the back over here let me get these nails so all back he's flat doing, he's gonna run, we're gonna run the wires from this light up here to that light over there so and get the loud noises for about Two seconds here, guys. Oh wait, we want to get this in the center, kind of. Center of the holes. Yeah, and then we got the hole See, there. we got people from Kentucky. Double Thank check. You guys for All right, loud us. noises. Thanks Give for me popping two. in. All Ooh, right. Tough spot. Oh, that's a, not a good got spot. It. Ah, sorry. Yep, I got nice it. Nice job. Perfect. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Let's see. You got a plow for the old square body? Oh man, I wish. Man. Plows are so expensive right now. Yeah, we're gonna be, That'd depends be on awesome. the winter. Probably gonna be snow blowing this year. Yep, snow blowing. Not bad. I mean, it's definitely a workout and it's not super time efficient, but right. it's not bad. It gets the job done. And it's clean, like whenever you have a nice snow blowed area, like it looks nice. Yeah, it does. But, yeah. Thank you guys for joining us. More people from the the UK. Oh, nice. What's up, guys? Thanks for popping in. We are wiring in some Smart lights. Us. Oh, man, we got all the loud okay. noises for we got, you. we got people talking about the lumber stretcher and the spark collector. Oh, the spark collector. I haven't heard of that one. I've only heard, it, heard of air samples. You got to get, like, the gallon or the big garbage bag and take a couple air samples every now and again, yeah. like when you're out on the job site. Okay. Yeah. And <laughs> tie the bag up really quick and bring it in to the company man. Right. Silly. Let's see. Liz, yeah, has been massaging Mike's back. Yep. I've given him a couple nice massages. Yeah. Um, Always grateful. Open out a little bit where I can. Let's see here. Thank you guys for joining us. Indianapolis in the house. In the Thank homes. you, Walter. Um, Larry, you want to order some clothing when it's available? It's actually coming very soon. Oh. So I'm gonna be mad. This one. Just another thing we've been trying to figure out. Enough. But yeah, we're gonna have it on our website. Hopefully, here pretty soon. Um, I know we've been saying that. I know we have. Hopefully, been pretty that. soon. But right. But it is. It is happening. Dang we are it. working on it. Look at this. This is like six inches too short. Oh my gosh. Was that the longest piece? No. Ah, oh, dang it. Dang it. All that work. work for nothing. <laughs> All right. Well, luckily, we still we got that long one now. Um, we just move see. that too. Oh, this one is barely longer. Thank you guys for joining That's us. All we need, though. 190 people. 190. What is up, guys? Yeah. Thank you so much for dropping in. We are doing this little wiring project in our super secret top secret room. Yep. And room so we are running. Works. This is a 12-2 wire and Romex. So that means it's a 20 amp circuit because we've got 12 gauge wire. If we were running um, 14 gauge wire, that would be a 15 amp circuit, I believe. And for lights, 15 amp circuit would be plenty. Mm -hmm. That wire would be white. But everything in our house is on a 20 amp circuit mm -hmm. and I don't want to start switching it up. Literally every breaker in our box is at least 20 amp or higher. Yeah. So I don't want to start playing with that. So this is overkill for lights. Um, but what that allows us to do is run a few more lights off of that one circuit. So we have 85% of the lights in the shop area tied to the same circuit. So that's running six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11, 12 after this, 12 LED light bulbs, mm -hmm. um, which is still probably way low. You could probably put like 25 LED light bulbs on this thing, right. at least would be my guess. So it's plenty of lights. Yeah, plenty of lights. But yeah, a little bit of overkill for what we're doing here, um, but it's all material we have. And as a lot of you guys know, material right now at least is slightly hard, hard to come by, some material. Yeah, a lot of stuff is hard to come by and it's expensive. Yeah, if really you can expensive. Even get, if you can even get it. Supply and demand. I mean, the demand is there, obviously, but the supply is not. Or mm -hmm. something's going on with the supply. Right. So this so is all materials we have had. Doing what we can with what we have. Yeah, we've like, been sitting like on everybody. it. everybody. And this is going to go through this one here. Look at that. Guys, we have less than a foot of wire to spare. See my cutters. Um, so why didn't you just move the box six, six inches closer? You just had already nailed it in. and that we had. Sense. We already nailed it in and we had longer wire. He just picked one that wasn't long enough. Yeah, this is all just REM it's pieces like that we have. Scrap pieces. You should have checked the length before. Yeah. Oh, oh that would have been much too smart. Way too smart. What's the fun in that? Yeah. <laughs> Um, so it's a lot warmer now since we have the heater on. It stays nice in the shop. We're a big fan. Yeah, that other live stream we did mm -hmm. oh, a week or so ago, we yeah. had mic problems. Um, we got the heater going. We did a, some more work on it today. Mm -hmm. So the heater is up and running. Yeah, yeah, it's quite nice. Okay, so I am going to strip this then. Uh, let's Next see. Step. Richard's asking what kind of wood do we burn in our wood stove? Um, if a guy had had a a choosing it'd be all tamarack all and red tamarack fir. Or red fir, yeah, I like birch too. Yeah, we've been burning kind of whatever we can find. Like we'll be picky about that, but I won't burn cottonwood. Yeah. I'm selective. I pro I mostly wouldn't burn ponderosa. Yeah. I'd burn lodgepole. There's more BTUs in lodgepole than there is in ponderosa. Right. Yeah. Tamarack and red fir is probably like the best that those like are the most have. like bang for your buck type of wood, even though we're not really paying for it. Yeah. Um, that has the most BTUs in it. Right. Um, let's see. So it's getting to the low 80s in western Tennessee. Wow. Um, the neighbors might not like it, but we would trade it for some of your snow. Hopefully we get <laughs> snow this year. I mean, it's been in the high 20s in the mornings. Um, up here in North Idaho. 22, so. 22. the other morning. Oh, yeah. Low 20s. Low 20s. So it's coming, that's for sure. Like that. we, I mean, winter's a lot of fun. We love it. It lasts a long time, um, but it kind of depends on how the winter is. Like it's no fun when it's just rainy. So we'll see. Yeah. yeah. You know, the mountains always are going to get snow. Right. Or at least, you know, for the time being. But yeah, it's, uh, it is miserable when it's rainy down in the valley. For sure. All winter. We have long winters here. Yeah, I think. Are, I think they're long too. A lot, yeah. a lot of times just when it's like cloudy, rainy, not much sun. But the summers are really worth it because summers are super nice up here typically. Um, let's see, we got Jerry this and that from Alberta. Thank you for joining Alberta. us. Alberta. It's going in between 199 and like 200 ish people. What's so up, thank guys? Thank you guys for joining us. If you would, just give us a thumbs up down yeah, at the bottom. We appreciate like it. it. We appreciate it. Thank you guys for like joining us on here this with fine you guys. Thursday. We're just, just doing a little wiring. A little wiring. The fun like thing about these kind of projects is I said it earlier, but like every little project makes a big difference, you know. So it's been fun figuring this, stuff like that yeah. out and having things actually come together. This is some people. I'm not like saying it's a bad thing, but some channels would make this into a whole video. They're gonna wire in two lights, which is fine. But yeah. this is gonna be like a start to finish project right. on a live stream. Hopefully, if Hopefully. the lights work, as long as nobody gets electrocuted or should, something. Yeah. They, they should work. Yeah, Hopefully. should work. And we'll strip this. Um, yeah, so people are saying that when you do every everything out of pocket, you typically use what you have. Or you make you figure out a way to make it work, you know. Yeah, 100%. Because a lot of things are expensive right now, so times are just kind of weird. So it's good to be able to, you know, use what you have on hand and kind of know what to do with it. Um, yeah, and that's the way to do, like, most things. Like, I mean, we should share that story of what we were doing just before this. With what? Going and picking up those poles. Oh, yeah. You know, rather than just going yeah. to the store and buying, like, nice-cut uh -huh. premium poles. Right. We went and got some that, like, probably aren't as aesthetically pleasing. Right. But they're still going to get the job done. Yeah, some friends of ours, they um, have cedar trees everywhere, all over their property. So we went out there and just picked a whole bunch of, like, cedar posts, 
between like six and like 10 feet tall, eight feet tall um, for our garden. So hopefully here pretty soon, maybe we'll wait till spring. We have a little bit going on before we can actually pound them in the ground. It would be cool to get it done before the ground freezes. That way we won't have to wait till spring, but we're gonna lay out a garden area down at the bottom yeah. with the posts. So that'll be super nice. But yeah, just do, doing stuff like that rather than going to the store and buying it because where would you even get stuff like that? Well, I mean, we could go buy, it's all cedar. Right. We could go buy cedar posts um, right now, but like lumber is expensive, even though it did come down, it's still expensive. And then cedar, let alone, that's like in its whole nother category. Yeah, nice cedar one. is really expensive. And yeah, we're, you know, they were probably cleaning up their property a little bit. Yeah. Just got and piles. we needed cedar poles and it's just a garden right. you know We're it's just to keep them. the deer out keep the deer out so they don't be munching on his stuff okay so we are going to go black to brass let's see here as with all most wiring in the house black to brass black to brass let's see too much ash and softwood yeah, yeah too much lots of ash stuff. and pine yeah Let's see, what did you guys do before you homesteaded? Do you have a place that you sold? Um, yeah, kind of like everybody, we, or I guess not everybody, but yeah, we had a, a different house um, and we ended up being able to sell that. It was an interesting story. Right, you should right tell time. the backstory, like, because yeah. we lived close to a lumber mill. Yeah, we lived right, basically right next door to a sawmill and they, they kinda, wanted the house. They wanted the house. Yeah, they wanted yeah. the land at least. So we were able True. to yeah, just the land. take everything from the house, like all of our windows and doors. Um, Every window in this house mm -hmm. is salvaged from the old from house. Old house. A lot yeah. of the doors, like this door here. We bought our front door and our back door, um, but I think there's a few doors that we reused. The bathroom door here, mm -hmm. um, yeah, this we were, door here. We were able to pack up and uh, buy the nine and a half acres that we have now and build the shop house. Yeah. So Instead yeah, we started adventure. out, we lived in our little camper. Um, pop-up camper. A little pop-up camper while we did it. And that was good living. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. It's coming along. So we're liking the shop house idea still. So who knows? I mean, things always change, but I mean, we've, it's always fun to like dream and like talk about it, but you know, like building a house after we're done with this and all this stuff, but who the heck knows? Ooh, so this is what we're doing for now. I'd like to do a few dinkier projects first, like do the cabin up top, yeah. build a couple sheds, storage yeah. sheds. I it, don't want to start a house like right away. It'd be nice to just be able to like chill for a while and not build once we get our deck on the back and all that good Wood stuff. Wood-fired hot tub, something, yep. you know, yeah. something to keep Liz happy. Right. Stuff uh, like so that. it doesn't get cold enough in North Carolina for a wood stove. I'm going to have to double bucket it right here. Oh, yeah. you be careful now. We've yet to get these two buckets apart since we stood at them <laughs> once. So yeah. Now they're nice standing buckets. I think we got those for free. Like, yeah, we got those for free and can't get them apart. It's probably why they were free. No, they were, they were, we did this. Oh, really? Yep. No, never mind then. We did it. Yep. We can't undo it. We did it. Um, let's see. We got... A super chat from Morgan Adair. Thank oh, you. Oh, nice. Thank yeah. you, guys. We appreciate it. Yeah, that's cool. From who? Uh, from Morgan Adair. Morgan Adair. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's right. awesome. So let's go, Brandon. I have some people saying that. Let's, let's go, go, Brandon. Yeah, you know what that? That's no, the inside I, joke of yeah. I don't know. I don't even. It's politics. Let's. I don't even want to start playing politics. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Let's see. But so, I know where they're coming from. You know, you, you've been heard. Yeah. Okay, so sure wish the rules in Nova Scotia allowed a person to live in an unfinished home while they were still constructing like you are. Oh, so I have, like, seen, like, rules are a lot tighter up there with permits and stuff like that. So, like, would you be able to build your own house kind of okay, thing? I need a wire nut to, for the ground, so I'm going to go See, find two wire See, we got another nuts. super chat from Ronnie Jones. Ronnie Jones, yeah, man, thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah, Ronnie appreciate Jones it. and you did you say Morgan Adair? Yeah. Man, thank you guys so much. That's awesome, yeah. I appreciate it. So. That's major. Yeah, that's super thank cool, you. thank you. Um, we appreciate you guys, like, like the live stream. Yeah. Um, a couple hundred people in here, Yeah, that's man, awesome. yeah, thank you. It's just like, I'm getting lost in thought. I know, <laughs> thank there's you. a lot going on. Right, yeah, We're so I, I need wire nuts. So he's gonna grab some wire nuts. It looks like he's. He's getting close. He's getting that the first light there that he moved. He's getting that all wired up, and then he's gonna go on to the second one. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. We appreciate it. We really do. Um, we definitely do. So I'm just gonna kind of keep reading comments here. Mike's grabbing some wire nuts so he can get that going. 
Um, okay. Let's see. Yeah, thank you, Ronnie. We appreciate it. Okay, so I am just wire nutting the ground together because this receptacle um, is set up. I can actually show you guys here. If you want to tilt that camera, it? I can just show them up. Yeah. Um, they can't really see it. But we do have a spot for two blacks and two whites, so mm -hmm. everything is um, screwed in on the receptacle itself, but it doesn't have a spot to be grounded. So I'm going to ground the grounds together. I don't know why. If it's not grounded to the receptacle, it doesn't matter, I guess, because what I'm going to do with that last ground? I don't know. Cut it off. Terminate it in there. Well, maybe the receptacles that we put up will have grounds mm -hmm. in them. You know? Yeah. So okay. I'm not going to cut these short because then the wires will all be the same length. Yeah, just That's a good them. point. Okay. The receptacles we put up permanently because these are still going to be kind of temporary. Mm -hmm. The permanent ones hopefully have a ground. Okay. I like it. Let's see. Now this is the fun part is stuffing all the wires in there. Six wires up in here. Okay, I'm gonna go let the dogs in. Okay, Come you do here. that. I'm gonna play this game. See, it's fun because you have to get the holes to line up too. You can't just twist this thing to wherever you want it. So let's Come on, Jed! Let's do Come on, Jed! Bend the ground way up out of the way. Get this thing Come way on, Jed. up on top of the box. Good boy. Because we don't want it anywhere near our two, um, our two ports there. It wouldn't be ports, but. Hey, you guys stay here. You know, where we're. You stay. Hey, watch your big butt. Got our other wires connected. And now I'm just looking for those holes, and I found them right there. Perfect. So that's in. When that pushes up, that's not going to have any extra pressure on the wires. That's going to be good to go. Let's get it screwed up, I guess, huh? Cool. I'm going to look for a square bit. I think that would be better for these screws. These are like a, a multi-thing screw. So I'm going to see if we have a square bit. I've never, well, I don't use square bits, so. All right. All right. Thank you guys for joining us. Let the dogs back in. Oh, and he left that door open, so here they are. Here's right. June. What do we got? Hi, June. How's it going? And Mr. Jed. Big square. Here, good dog goes. Oh, All right, so thing. what else do we got here? Yeah, we try to be resourceful with what we have. Um, we were luckily in a really cool position where we got to like take all of our windows and doors from our old house and kind of make them work for this new house. So that was really nice. And everything, like, the timing was just crazy, um, like, with everything being on back order and, like, getting expensive. So we definitely lucked out with that. That's for sure. Um, and someone asking if the old house was demolished, oh, and it was. The firefighters actually use it as like a test house, and they burnt it down, and then it was demolished, and they've already started like building over it and stuff like okay. that. So they really truly just wanted the land. They didn't want the house. So it was like sad to see it go, but it was really cool to be able to just move here and build this house. What? Um, hate to see your go, but love to Yeah, hate to see it go, love to watch it leave. Got Wayne Honky from tonk, Massachusetts. But I'll be um, Let's see. Wayne from Massachusetts. Yeah. Nice. That's getting close to my neck of the woods. Right. Yeah. So let's up, see. Wayne Stephen Lake says you have to have a seasonal dwelling permit. So kind of, so you can a little bit. And then you have to get a renovation permit when you're ready to hook up plumbing and electrical. Where is and that everything at? everything would have to be done. I think that's up in, up in Canada. Up in Saskatchewan. Interesting. I believe. Or Nova Scotia, oh, excuse me. I got me. the wrong hole. Nova Scotia, hole. Canada. Um... WD-40 on the buckets to separate. Haven't yeah, that that's yet. a good idea. Um, I've seen a lot of people, they just pop holes and put the air compressor to it. Pops them right out, but then you got a hole in the bottom of your bucket. Yeah, that's and not nobody fun. Nobody likes a bucket with a hole in no. it. No. Let's see, we got New Hampshire. New Ooh. Hampshire, a bunch of East Coasters. Yeah. What's up, guys? So Ken, he says he's been working on his property in preparation for his off-grid cabin. That's oh, very awesome. nice. Yeah, congrats. Very nice. Yeah, congrats to you. Hopefully everything is going smooth. See what he's doing. Hopefully it's like this project, which has been smooth to date. Yeah. To well, date. Luckily. Biggest All right, we got minute. Peter right. from South Africa. Oh, what's but up, Now Peter? in Helena. Oh, here we um, Where are we? Says, like some blogs. Thank you. Stay away from the electrical stuff. Yeah, some we're, electrical we're, stuff. We're doing the electrical stuff. I know, but... Well, he said he stayed away from it. Oh, he stuff. stayed away. Yeah. I thought you were saying stay away from it. No. Some electrical stuff can be sketchy for sure. 
always best do to just this bit. not do what you're, if you're uncomfortable with something. Uh, definitely be best to make sure there's a pro around. Bit change number three um, or four. So Morgan Adair is saying that, have you tried the Roberts bits? Let's see, we'll take this uh, The guy. flat tips, yeah, they don't seem to really work that well. That's for sure. All right, we got Rob here. Hello, Rob, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. So what do I John do? John says, where's your safety glasses? Safety squints. Safety squints. This is, I hate this, trying to put a flat head in a impact. <laughs> it never goes good. No, what could go wrong? Uh, all right, let's see what we got here, guys. Let's see here. Is Mike from Massachusetts? He's from Rhode Island, actually. Originally. Originally. Oh, see, I hate this. Um, let's see, Richard was born in New Newburyport, Massachusetts. Uh, and now he lives I don't in North Carolina. That is. I've never heard of it, at least personally. Yeah. I think I'm all caught up on comments. So thank you guys. We still have some people joining us up to 227. Thank you for joining us. Mike What's up, and I guys? are. Well, Mike. I'm the hostess, and Mike hostess is uh, wiring up a new light in our brand new room that we built. So, what we can do is hopefully this works, um, even though, <coughs> uh, excuse me, even though we don't have the second light hooked up, that one should yeah, work. Yeah, turn on. Nice job. So now we're gonna. I'm gonna run down to this far side. You guys should come with me along with you. We will. Because we will be working on that next light. Okay. It's a little dark. I'm going to move some lights down, too. Yeah, sounds good. And I'm going to do this. Okay. There yeah, he is. Yeah, not too bad. Let's get it up there. I got it. Let's, I'll put anything that pops up. Let's see. Check out Project Farm. He rates everything he does. Even, oh, I missed that one right at the end. Oh. I faded away. I was going to try to keep up with comments real quick while you move the lights. That's pretty decent lighting there. Yeah. Let's see. Um, Check out Project Farm. He rates everything he does. Tests on what's better. Even bits. Oh, so he like tests everything out. Is that okay lighting for you? For me, that's plenty. Okay. Um, let's see the camera. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty good. Um, man, thank you to the super chat that is still at the top there. Can I click on that? Ronnie Jones. Yeah. Thank you, Ronnie Jones. We um, appreciate it. That's you guys awesome. see that shit is probably be sitting on your screen too. Probably at the bottom or at the top. I'm not sure. Yeah. But Ronnie Jones hit us up with the super chat. So thank you, Ronnie Jones. That's yeah. super generous we of you. We appreciate it. Yes. It's supporting, supporting, supporting the cause, the supporting the channel. Yeah. We appreciate it. We um, really do. Let me get up here. Excuse me, Mr. Jed. Okay. So Jack was watching the game. Which games? So the Red Sox that are playing tonight? Uh, they played last night and they oh, lost they? again. I don't know if they're playing tonight. Um, I thought they played tomorrow. Okay, so Knob is saying the buckets that are stuck together use a screwdriver between the two of them. And like hit it. I don't totally understand what you mean. Like slip a flathead screwdriver in there maybe? Got all that. I know. I'll, I'll clean it out for him. Yeah, Jed was fishing. <laughs> yeah. He loves he it. A bunch of... Uh, he doesn't mind. He doesn't mind. He eats sticks anyways. So. He eats a lot of stuff. <laughs> and there's little June. He we loves June soft the... boiled eggs. Oh yeah. We call June the keeper of the stairs because she just chills on the stairs. Yep, all the time. We'll be working down here in the shop or even down all the way at the bottom sometimes yeah. we'll be and June won't join us and mm -hmm. we'll come back and here she is just sitting on the yeah. stairs. Jed will like run by your side the entire time. But oh yeah, he's got to see what's going on. You're a good girl. Yeah, they're good doggos. June is a golden retriever lab mix, yep. and then uh, Jed is a what is he? He's a pit. He's lab, lab mix. pit, yeah. And so is similar that. but different. Similar but different. They're both excellent dogs. Mm -hmm. We're very lucky. Yeah. So Ken is currently Excuse saving me? up for his solar system. Oh, nice. Us, Us too. too. Yeah. yeah. That would be super sweet. That is on the list. On the list here soon. Hope, nah, hopefully soon. We'll see. Oh, uh, Ronnie. Oh, he says he loves watching us. Thank you, Ronnie. We really Thank appreciate you, Ronnie. it. Really do. Okay. Chris. Super chat from Chris. Oh, wow. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, guys. Bucks. Seriously. That's awesome. Nice. Thank you, guys. That's super yeah, generous Yeah, good to see Mike guys. up and moving. Thank you. We appreciated it. He was in a lot of pain there for a couple days. Dude, like Sucks excruciating really pain. It, that was crazy. That's the worst it's ever been. Like, I've had yeah. back spasms or muscle spasms before, but, like, yeah. by far, that was, like, that was crazy. We've got a lot of people, like, 
kind of telling us their backstories, and it seems seems to be a pretty common thing, I yeah. guess, especially if you've like worked in construction and heavy lifting and stuff. Um, one of my buddies who does oh physical therapy says back back injuries are the most debilitating injury out there Ugh, because like it's it's, it controls so much your body. Right. Um, can you hand me? Do I have it in my pocket? What is it? I have it in my pocket. Okay. Never mind. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. We appreciate it. Um, let's see. Didn't you used to be a school teacher or a school counselor? So similar. School counselor um, in an elementary school. So they kind of have very different roles, but I worked, I mean, like alongside the teachers every day. Um, have you ever tried a red Robertson screwdriver? Um, they're, they're the standard drivers in Canada. I have not. That's cool. This. What is this one? This is... Uh, Piquique, which I think is also made in Canada. Oh. This is a multi-driver. Piquique? Yeah. Piquique? I don't know. No, what was the other one? Standard multi-tool? Um, is that what you said? Standard. It's a st he said it's standard in Canada. Oh, huh. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'll have to check it out. I have not. Cool. Thank you guys for joining us. We're up to 247, and we just got another super chat from up, Julie. Guys? Oh, nice. Yeah. Thank you. Six ninety nine. Cool. Thank, Thank you, Julie. Julie. That's awesome. You guys are really helping us out a lot. Supporting the channel. Yeah, supporting the channel, keeping these projects going. Yeah, so it's anybody that's fun. just joining in, we'll catch you up to speed on this project. So what we are doing is just kind of wiring two lights together, super simple, um, in our super secret talk secret room. Yeah, our room that we just built. But, uh, yeah, there was already... About? One light wired in, but very janky. The wire was not plumbed through the floor joist mm -hmm. or any of that good stuff. So what we have done is we got this wire. As you can see, you want to tilt it up just a little bit. Yep. We've got this wire up here that's running through the floor joist all the way back to the switch about 10 feet away over there. Yep, by the door. Um, it is a, oh, what is it? It's a 12-2 wire. Two lights on one single pole switch. And with intentions and capabilities to add it into a three-way switch. Yep. So then we have a switch there and a switch at the top of the stairs to control this set of lights. Because, yep. like the lazy people we are, why would we walk down the stairs to shut off the lights? Yeah, well. <laughs> Kidding, we're not lazy. We're not lazy, but work smarter, not harder, right? Yes. Okay, so I had a pack um, of screws. Let's see. Who yeah, what do we got? I'm gonna catch up on some more comments. You guys are still commenting. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, you guys joining keep us. Keep it rolling. All uh, super awesome. I'm almost done here, I think, and I'll start to join you. Let's um, chill in the chairs after this or yeah. something. So let's see. I want to send a link. So, true. Up. Okay. So Morgan, you must be up there in Alaska. Um, that's yeah. That's another kind of living for sure. You need that. I don't need them right now. No. Um, is Mike 100% now? Not 100%. It's one of those injuries that's nope. probably going to come back and haunt him for the rest of his life. Unfortunately. I'd love to be able to, like, I mean, as bad as it sounds, like, do yoga and, like, make it better. If I did yoga, I think it might work. But You can do yoga. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah. Well, so I think stretching could really, really help. Oh, yeah, it would. I, so I could give people the backstory on, like, why my back is bad. I, it's two specific injuries. Your tailbone, right? You broke the tailbone. As a kid, I broke. I was riding a wheelie on my dirt bike as a little punk kid, and uh, I flipped over backwards on the pavement on chip seal. So flipped over backwards riding a wheelie, shorts, t-shirt, no helmet, yeah. and like just ruined my tailbone, crushed the tailbone. Hasn't been the same since. Never been the same <laughs> since. Then I was skiing one time. I think this is even after that fact. I was skiing, mm -hmm. and I jumped off a cliff, and I intentionally jumped off a cliff, mind yeah, you. Right. And yeah, just ruined my back. Yeah, so there and is now, uh, like every little thing that he does. There is a backstory to it for sure. Right. Can't get it backstory. Uh, backstory. So Steve is saying that he's off grid in Hawaii and he had a muscle spasm that hurt so bad he almost passed out. Yeah, that's I he's it. like right there with you. He was pretty close. I think I saw another super chat pop up. Is that what Who that was? Did I miss? Oh, something. What's uh, the green Trader one? Trader Mike. Yep. Nice. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Yeah. Thank you, Trader Mike. Thank you. We love your channel. Thank you. We yeah. appreciate it. Thank you for supporting the channel. Yeah. Thank we you uh, very have much. a few projects coming up. I don't know if you guys know, noticed, obviously not right now, but we have been trying to do a few outside projects while the weather right. is still okay. Yeah, the weather. It's supposed to be raining here a lot in the next, like this whole weekend, basically, it's supposed to be rain. I'm going to get a light bulb. Cool. Um, but yeah, this winter we're excited. We're hoping to get a lot done on the inside of the house. <clears throat> 
we're not going to get ahead of ourselves. We're just going to like take the projects kind of as they come. But it's been a lot of fun, like putting things together. Bulb. Really, it's been really cool. I saw someone mention Simple Living in Alaska. That's a channel that we like. Those guys are cool. They just seem very real and like living that off-grid life looks like a lot of hard work. But yeah. Oh, uh, you're gonna go back and get the tree. Uh, yeah, we gotta go back and finish that job. So hopefully we'll do that in the next couple days. Kind of depends. We have a decent amount of firewood that we still need to get and we're not like super looking forward to it, but it'll be all right. We have like maybe three more cords that if we got it, we'd be, we'd be solid. Whoa. Um, let's see. More people are talking about the Robert, Robertson screws. Robertson screws? We got screws? Douglas from oh. Michigan. Robertson's square drive. Let's see, let there be light. Does it work? Look at that. Woo! All right. Nice. Right on. Good job. Yeah, not bad, huh? Perfect. Not bad at all. A lot more light in here. Yeah, so. That's awesome. Yeah, that's so it works. really cool. You get this Two lights here. now. Yeah, that, uh, let's shut these lights off just to do a little test. Okay. And, uh, yeah. See how much light there actually is. Yeah. Shut off these little stage light good things. Good job, babe. Thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. Looks good. I'm, I'm pleased with it. So these aren't going to be our permanent lights, as you guys can see. It's obviously not done in here. We still have to put up the ceiling, and then once we do, get like the permanent lights in there. Right. But this yeah. is just what it is going to be for now. I like that. I but this was good. a big step for us. Yeah, getting you know more permanent situation. Like we mentioned before, this wire wasn't drilled through any of these floor joists mm -hmm. um it was just like ran over and the, that wire was put in like months ago right um when i was just like guessing where everything was going to go before we even had insulation in the walls mm. yeah so luckily i guess somewhat right we were able to notch that ledger and pull that wire straight out of the wall um mm -hmm. so now you know once there's drywall on the wall and the ceiling that wire is going to be completely covered yeah so that's good. So we got two lights running off of one switch um, with intentions of putting the three-way switch up here at the top of the stairs too. Yeah, we have another switch on order so that yeah. that way, yeah, to, from the top of the stairs, that'd be cool. You want to go sit in the chairs out here for a little bit? Yeah, let's sit. Yeah, let's you bring sit out that. there. Do you need anything this. to drink? I would love just a glass of water. It would be excellent. So we'll bring you guys out here and get uh, get these chairs set up and hang out with you guys for a bit longer. That's cool. We got that project all squared away. Um, yeah, that'll be, I mean, it's not a, not huge, but it's like when you're at this, at this stage or at this pace, whatever you want to say, um, even just those little projects like that really help out, um, just to even see like the completion, just to see something getting finished, um, that helps out morale big time. So it's cool. That's really cool in our super secret top secret room. That video, I keep saying that, it's really not a super secret top secret room. Um, that video will come out here in the next couple days, less than, less than a couple days, what am I saying? Um, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. What else? We got that going on. Um, I wired in the thermostat today for that heater going. back there that you guys saw us fire up in the last live stream. We saw saw that heater get going. So what we did with that heater was get that um, plumbed from the outside back to the inside. Thanks, dear. Because as a lot of you guys had seen in our previous videos from like a long time ago, let's get this all squared away first. Sorry, Jed. In our previous videos from a long time back, um, we had that diesel tank outside mm -hmm. running the heater, but mm -hmm. the heater was trying to pump the diesel up and over an eight foot wall wasn't able to do it, so we pulled and got the tank inside. You guys saw on the live stream, we were still running off of a five gallon tank. Now we have the 55 gallon drum that you can't see there, the snowmobile is blocking it. Mm -hmm. 55 gallon drum running that heater. Thermostat is plumbed all the way into its permanent location. Yep, got that Wires today. all buttoned up, you know? Yeah, super nice. Mm -hmm. We've had a productive, ooh, sorry, productive last few days. Yeah, we have, it's been awesome. Yeah. Been loving like busting these little projects out. I know, I was saying while you were gone, like, even though it's a little project, like, seeing the completion, seeing stuff getting finished is mm -hmm. just, like, perfect. Really cool. Yeah. I love it. I know, I do, too. All right. And I love that, like, we can, I love that our internet is good enough to, like, join these guys. Yeah, Or have these guys cool. join us for this live stream. Yeah, like, Starlink. Like, projects like this. Been working really well lately. Mm-hmm. I'm, knock on wood, you know. Mm-hmm. It's 
kind of hit or miss. But. Yeah, anybody have Starlink questions, go ahead and drop those down below. Liz will get caught up with those yeah. um, for sure. But Comments. yeah, Starlink has been doing good. We haven't had a single dropout yet. Typically, for those of you guys that have been around with us for a while, you've seen like in our previous live streams, mm -hmm. the like Starlink. Every couple minutes. That. Yeah, the Starlink, it'll drop out and, you know, we have to reboot and get back caught up with you guys. Um, but it hasn't, you know, like this, a knock on wood. Right. So, yeah, yeah, super fortunate for the Starlink, for the location we're in. Um, we had basically no internet options short of putting like a tower up on our right. on our mountain. So, that. yeah, Starlink, yeah, it works it's, good, it's it works well. Like, it's, been, it's been really cool. Yeah, um, unbelievably fast too, mm -hmm. unbelievably fast. Let's see, we got Scott was also born in Rhode Island. He was born in Pawtucket. Oh, yeah, Pawtucket. That was just down the road. I was born in, I don't know if it'd be Warwick, but in Kent County. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That, so everything is just down the road in Rhode Island. That's the Paw Sox, the Pawtucket Red Sox. Oh, really? That's like the Red Sox lower team. Hmm. We used to go to them. I can't remember the name of that little stadium. But yeah, the Paw Sox. We've That's cool. been to quite a few Paw Sox games, Pawtucket. They got Patuxet Village too, which is a cool little like quaint town. Yeah. There's it must be the Patuxet River that okay. rushes. I mean, it is like it. gushing underneath this one bridge at, hmm. at certain times of the year. Wow. I'd imagine that it would be the Patuxet River. But I think there's a difference between Pawtucket and Patuxet. Oh. If that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. That's an East Coast thing. Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, you're like saying super, it different. Yeah. Um Let's see, Paul is here, wants us to fill, fill him in. Thank you for joining us, Paula. We just wrapped up a little project in our our new top secret room that you guys will see here in a little while. <laughs> yeah. uh, we just wired up a couple of lights, two lights on one switch, mm -hmm. um, brighten up that room a little bit. Also a little bit temporary, we're not done with the ceiling yet, so those lights are not the permanent ones. But Yeah, wires are yeah. run, wires are there though. One thing at a time. So yeah, that was a cool little project. Nobody got shocked, mm -hmm. no smoke yet that I've seen. I've been watching, you know, I don't see any smoke popping. coming, no popping. So yeah, the trick that I've been told with electrical is to have tight connections. If you have a loose connection, that's what causes heat. Mm -hmm. Tight connections. You're good to go. Yes. More good to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. That's what I've been told at least. Let's see. Gary said we did a great job on that shed door. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yep. Strong. Yeah, we got we it buttoned up today. Excited about that little shed. That's cool. Yeah. That's same. another thing that we brought over from our old house. Yeah, man, that was shed. something. At one point, guys, we had that entire shed lifted up in one piece. The whole shed was still built, roof, everything. We had that whole thing lifted up off the ground like four feet. That's crazy. We were trying to put a trailer underneath it and <laughs> set it on the trailer and drive over, but... Yeah. Good didn't work. work. We had to take it down in pieces, yeah. but we yeah, reassembled like it. It came out nice. It's still in great condition. Yeah. Actually, like the s same kind of posts, I guess, that we just went and picked up, you know, like we're similar. Oh, similar you're talking posts. about the structure inside yeah. the shed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The framework of the shed. Yeah. It's all just posts. It's not even like sawn to dimensions. Yeah. It's all just random trees, essentially. Mm -hmm. But cedar, you know, the cedar lasts a long time. It's good wood. Yeah. It's cool. And that's like been it. exposed to the elements. So, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I'm stoked on that. So outside is summer right now. It's hot cocoa and Scrabble. That sounds nice. I had hot cocoa yesterday. Yeah, we did. We need to get like some board games to play. Yeah, shoots and ladders. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Operation. But yeah, maybe Scrabble or Monopoly. Monopoly. I like Monopoly. Maybe if we knew how to play cribbage. I know how to play cribbage a little bit. Yeah. We were playing at hunting camp. When's hunting camp? We were playing at hunting oh, camp. We... Yeah. Yeah. You and Chris. No, me and Devin. <laughs> <laughs> Cribbing it up. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. Let's kick the um, butt cribbage. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Like I said, have you ever been in the bar with Waterfall and Priest River? Um, yeah, I used to work for the highway to, to go up and down all the highways around there. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but yeah, that's a cool little spot there. Yeah, I've never been there. Yeah, same, same thing. Way. The river just rushes through there at certain times. Yeah. Yeah. Wade is here from Montana. What's up, Thank Wade from Montana? Thank you for joining Montana? us. And thank you, guys. We've got 279 people here. That's mm. really cool. Yeah, we finished our little project. That's 171. 279 oh. thumbs up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lots of thumbs up. Thank you, guys. If you haven't already, please smash that like button. Yeah, I was but probably yeah, we the wrong it. number the whole time. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Still oh, well. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you not paying attention? What? 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 Not possible. Not possible. Um, why do you sound so surprised that it works? <laughs> that the lights work? Yeah. It's just a joke. I'm pretty confident in my electrical skills. Yeah. There are like some crazy wiring that I have no, I know nothing about, like certain ways to wire up switches and 
all sorts of that, but yeah. I know I know the basics enough. So typically it works. The only time it hasn't worked is like I didn't hook up the ground one time. And some 220 stuff doesn't need the ground hooked up, some does. Mm -hmm. I had, this did and I didn't. So that was the one time on this build, this project, that it didn't work. Yeah. So it's yeah, been good. Though, yeah. He's a smart guy. Knock on wood. Right. Been going good. Um, Poet and I don't even know it. <laughs> right. Okay, so Paula wants to know what the prognosis was because she just jumped in. Um, Basically, like a muscle yeah, spasm. Yeah, muscle spasm. He said the disc, like the disc, might be pushing. I don't know. We went to the chiropractor. I have a tough time, like totally buying into the chiropractor thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, on the mend, on the mend for sure. Um, you just need to take care of himself. I need to slow down. He needs to slow down. He needs to not stress so much. Yeah. Do some yoga. A few things, stretches. Take the vitamins. The vitamins. Allegedly, the vitamins are going to help. Yeah. Allegedly. I think the stretching could help. I'm not limber. If I could, like, limber up oh, a little yeah. bit, I think the stretching could help. I would, too. Yeah. For sure. <clears throat> I do. There you go. So, yeah. Need to get on that. Yeah. But thank you for joining us, Paula. Um, Ken's wanting to know if the snowmobile runs. Both yeah. of those snowmobiles back there run. Yeah. Anybody that knows snowmobiles kind of knows that they're always a project, so they both Mostly run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll start up and go, right? Yeah. The um, 800 runs good. The other one runs good, too. That, actually, the little 340 that's sitting behind Liz, that thing has, like, minimal miles on it. That thing is mint. Like, almost showroom ready. Mm -hmm. I think it's 76, either a 74 or a 76. We have another one, like, a matching one. We have matching two of those. set. Yeah, this one's clean. This one is, yeah. like, mint. The one that we need to bring inside. That It runs also. It needs a few parts, but... Yeah. Yeah, that this is a cool snowmobile, that white one. That is mm -hmm. a really cool old snowmobile. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Let's see, Trader Mike says he's on Starlink too. Nice. Yeah, um, Starlink for sure. Yeah. I'm gonna let these kids out. Yeah. Let's talk about the one under the black cover. Yeah, that's Oh, that's, that's the eight hundred. The eight hundred, yeah. And that, that thing works good. I mean yeah, I think he that's, needs uh, a few parts and you know. No, I don't even we can talk if these guys get me going on snowmobiles. Yeah, don't get him going on snowmobiles. Oh man, I could talk a long he time. He loves it. That thing's sick. That thing's got like a stage three SLP kit in it. Oh. <laughs> stage three SLP kit with their clutch work. What is that? Fox floats all the way around. That's a nice sled, but it's a 2012. I say, but I guess in the snowmobile world, well, they've come quite a way since 2012. Yeah. 850s now, stock turbos now. Ha! Ah, that's crazy. Yeah. I don't even want to start. <laughs> so excited. Yeah. yeah, it'll be nice in the wintertime when it snows. We can get these things running. And I know. I want to ride our own mountain here. Yeah. We just need some snow down here in the valley. But nonetheless, we'll take you guys along for the few trips that we get up in the mountains here. Yeah. We do live in a cool. very good um, backcountry recreation wintertime mm -hmm. area. Right. Yeah, winters um, are Summertime, too. But summer's awesome. Winter's awesome around here. Yeah. When we get, I mean, the, there's always snow in the mountains in the winter. but. Right, yeah. So, you, so, you know, some years you have to drive up further than others. But... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so we'll definitely have some outdoor winter content for sure. I'm excited for winter. That's probably my favorite season. Really? Winter, yeah. yeah. I like them all. I'm excited for winter too. Um, yeah, I like them all. Like them all? I like winter Perfect. when like, we're prepared for winter, and which I think we are this year. Yeah, I think if we get two more truckloads of firewood, we'll be fine. Last winter was just a little bit rough, you know, our living situation. Where we, we weren't even in the shop yet. Wow, that is almost our year anniversary of being in the shop coming mm -hmm. up. October 31st. Yep. Well, actually, I think it was more like the 27th. Right in there. We had set the date. I had set a date mentally of being living in the building that we built by October 31st. Mm -hmm. And I think I made that date by like two or three days. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. But this winter is a lot more cozy. and Way more chill. We're stoked. Way more chill. <clears throat> I mean, it's because we got our, our stuff together. We got our ducks in a row now. Right. We were scrambling. We were in slightly over our head, I'd say, last year. But look, at we pulled it off. We did, yeah. You know? Here we are. Yeah. Now we're married and yeah, look at us. happy as clams. Thriving. <laughs> clams. You just got me excited for dinner. What are we having for dinner? Well, I don't know. What are Let's you Let's see clams. Do we have stuff to make clams and guini? Who should cook? I don't know. Should it be up to a vote? Could be. Yeah, you guys could be the deciders. <laughs> Who should cook? Do we have stuff to make clams and guini? We don't have a oh. pipeline. Oh, but there is frozen shrimp. Yeah. Liz balled out last time she went to the store because I, I saw you got the frozen shrimp. You in the had freezer. shrimp on the list. It was kind of a joke. I didn't think you were actually <laughs> going to get it. I was getting all pissed it. off of you when I was looking. <laughs> I loaded up that list. <laughs> I spent like 10 minutes looking at shrimp. I'm like, this is all so expensive. What is he going to make? It was kind of, yeah, we'll do shrimp scampi. 
we'll use, we'll do, um, we'll do like a white, kind of like a white sauce shrimp scampi. We can do butter, milk, Sounds garlic. like Mike's cooking. Sounds like Mike's cooking. <laughs> Mike's a bomb chef. Mike's like Emeril Lagasse, well bam. I always say this joke and Liz doesn't ever get the yeah. Emerald joke. I'm, I get it now. Turn it up a notch. <laughs> Bam! Now I know, can know who you're talking about. Yeah, so let's do shrimp scampi um, over noodles. Okay, okay. Butter with a little bit of milk. We'll do a little basil with some garlic, some oregano, and a little bit of celery salt just for a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, it'll be good. He's a good cook. Um, let's see. So are you going to close off your living area and heat it separately? We, it is right it now. It is, yeah. So it's actually officially 100% closed off, really, when the door's shut. Yeah. And we just have a, we have a wood stove up there. So that's, like, all the heat for the upstairs. And it works really well. It stays nice and toasty up there. Yeah, as far as heat containment for the upstairs, I think the next move would be to insulate the wall and the floor. So you can kind of see up here in the top corner of the screen, um, that's the wall that's separating the living corners from the shop. Um, obviously, it's not insulated because the entire building is insulated around it. Mm -hmm. So if we were to insulate that wall and the floor underneath there, yeah, it'll hold a lot. that would contain a much more heat just within the living area itself. Um, and then there's more walls upstairs, too, that need insulated. Yeah, the walls upstairs, That's we don't benefit a ton from insulating the walls it's within like the living sound. area. It's more for sound deadening. I think what you're getting at is we're gonna put some insulation in the bathroom. We're actually just gonna use it's those foam there. boards that you can see yeah. back behind that pipe over there. Mm -hmm. um, we'll put that up in the bathroom just as like a little sound deadening. Yeah. Stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we're not gonna insulate any of the partition walls up there. We're just gonna put them up. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see yeah, what we got smooth. more. Off Grid in Hawaii. Off Grid in okay, Hawaii, so that'd be Okay, so Steve's sick. out. Thank you for joining us, Steve. Oh, uh, thanks for joining us, Steve. Um, let's see here. Harold's out. Thank you for joining us. Ricky is here from Mid Midlothian, Illinois. Cool. Oh, yeah. Illinois, right on. Nice. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Um, we got uh, someone here from here England. Idaho. England, nice. Yeah. Ooh, what do we got going on in he's, Idaho? He's on the men too. He pulled his back completely out. Oh man, sorry to hear that. I feel your pain, dude. Miserable. Yeah, I don't know what completely out would be. I was down for the count for like a solid two days. Like I could not, even like rolling over while you're sleeping, it would wake you up. Yeah. Like because it's just so painful. Heater kicked on. See kicked that? On, we got yeah. the thermostat set. Heater kicked on. What do you on. got the thermostat set at? I turned it up. I think I have it set at 60 right now nice. for in here. I'll turn it down. So like in the wintertime, guys, uh, maybe these guys would have an opinion on it. Um, I'm thinking like 45 degrees for down here. Mm -hmm. And that is, that's to keep the pipes from freezing down here, essentially, because we have our whole water system in the shop. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking I'll keep that thermostat set at 45 degrees in the winter. I don't know if it'll turn down to 45. 50 might be the lowest. Okay. I'm Do hoping it'll go to 45. Yeah. But I think 45 will be fine. Um, and then whenever we want to work in here, we can just come down here. It heats this place up quick. Um, yeah, you know, really obviously does. in the winter, it'll be a little slower. But it'll heat this place up to 70 degrees in like 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. So makes it makes it really nice. And we, we'd love to get some wood heat down here in the shop too. It's on the list, yeah. Um, we actually, as you, guys, as you guys have seen in a lot of our previous projects, um, Liz's parents are super generous with any items that they have, you know, that they're not using. So they mm -hmm. do have an extra wood stove for us. Yeah, so we're going to go grab that one of these yeah, days. Yeah, we need to scoop that and then we're going to put that in the shop as well. So that'll be nice. Yeah, a little bit of an alternative heat to supplement um, the diesel heat. So the diesel heat would be nice to like warm it up really quick and then we'll start a fire at the same time. And, and then, then don't have to run that thing all Yeah, day. exactly. The fire will just cook it and do that. Mm -hmm. I noticed, I've seen in the past that that's where wood stoves struggle in shops is to get them up. If they're heated, it's fine. Cause yeah, it's a big area. It's a, a big area. To... A lot of these old wood stoves don't have any like blower system on them either. Mm -hmm. So like we might have to weld a blower system or something up. Yeah. But if you can move the air around, yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. Maybe we need one of those big fans in here. I would love, yeah. Have you, you guys the have probably seen fans. them. They're, the brand is called Big Ass Fan. Yeah. Um, yeah, it'd be sick to have a huge, you know, 16 foot fan on the ceiling, mm -hmm. <laughs> just spinning super slow. I'd love to build one. I've seen restaurants that have 
their own fans, and they're just on pulleys. So there's like three fans ran off of oh, one. Yeah. It might even just be a rope that I think they. I've seen that too. It's so cool. I'd love to have you know three fans running up here all on a pulley system. Be super cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, rope tow up the mountain. That's <laughs> another one. Like a Sweet chairlift dad. rope tow type thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. if we ever get enough snow down low. This year, guys, um, yeah, is, I don't know if you guys know, but they are calling for a heavy winter in the northwest, yeah. colder and wetter than normal. So that, it, in turn, is called a La Nina, yeah, I so believe. Yeah, more snow. Yep, more and snow, essentially, last year hypothetically. We, we got so much rain, so much rain. It just so like rained all rain. last winter, and you think if it had been just a little bit colder, that would have all been snow. We would have had feet of snow, guys. Yeah. Liz and I lucked out so hard last winter. Yeah, because just in the situation that we were in. of the situation, like, yeah. Where we were at, but we're ready for some snow. Yeah, yeah, if that would have been snow last year, hurting. So we yeah. got super fortunate in that aspect of it, mm -hmm. you know. Let's see, Scott wants to know, how's the Subi? The Subi's good. Subi leaks oil like a sieve. Yeah. But Subi runs. <laughs> Subi runs, Subi shifts. Subi leaks. That's how yeah, the Subi is. Yeah, good, though. Yeah, I'd need to... Uh, Need to get another engine for it to have it rebuilt and just put it in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, turbo though, right? Boost it. Boost it, yeah. bud. Turbo Subi, turbo mom mobile. So John wants to know where do we see our YouTube channel ten years from now? Oh man, ten years—that's a long ways. Yeah, ten years. I don't know. I can still see us putting out content. Yeah. I don't think it would be as a million subscribers. God, wouldn't that be something? Yeah. I could see us like making content. It's not going to be as regular as this, I don't think. Yeah. But like definitely still making content. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we can move on to like other cooler projects, not really stick to the house thing. Awesome. Still do projects, but projects throughout the property. Yeah. Have the homestead established. I'd right. love to like still continue to do the homesteading. Yeah, that's we want to have our place like we want to finish this house, you know, so that we can focus on focus on the land. Know, yeah, get some more animals, get the garden really going good. The garden is the goal for next next summer. Mm -hmm. um, I think animals maybe the summer after that if we're being realistic. Right. But yeah, the garden. Yeah, ten years I guess. If we could have this place and like still making homesteading content, mm -hmm. you know, people could see like the growth. Like, hey, these guys literally had a mountain. Yeah. Now they're eating all their own food. Right. You know, raising their own animals and stuff like that. Could be really cool. Yeah, it could be really That's cool. That's where we see it. Hopefully, hopefully yeah. good, good places. Mm -hmm. But yeah. We, we enjoy making the content and doing this, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Let's see. So Paula says she hasn't years. Cribbage, nine yeah. years. Yeah. yeah. It's It was pretty straightforward. Do you guys know how to play 45s? No. I've never heard of that. Never heard of it either. Um, no Bridge is another card game, I think. Yeah. Never played that. Wade wants to know if we're gamers. <laughs> if we're gamers? Yeah. yeah what a Fortnite. <laughs> My cousin and I play Fortnite all the time. He's probably yeah. waiting for me right now. So where the hell is he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're watching after the live stream, I'll play some Fortnite. Yeah, right? Yeah. Um, That's the only one that I play. Yeah. Yeah, I don't play much video games. Yeah. No, we're pretty busy here. And kind of yeah. take the evening sometimes to just chill. but Yeah, hang out, watch some Netflix. Not do much. Wind down from the day, mostly. Yeah. Sometimes with video games will stress you out even more. Somehow, even though it's just a video game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. So I'm going to read this comment from Morgan. The switch that gets me is the one that will let you light a room from a stairway from top or bottom. Yeah, so that's the plan, right? That's the plan, yeah. For this one. I don't know what he means by that gets him, but yeah, that's, that's, that's what we'll yeah. have. Yeah. Those are like the so that's what we have set up here for these lights here in the shop. We have a switch at the front door and we have a switch at the back door that control the same lights. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it was pretty simple to wire up. I don't want to say super easy. Once right. you understood what was going on, it mm -hmm. was easy, but it- Something new, because that was the first time. What? Yeah, yeah that was the first that, time I, so. I'd ever done that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was a little confusing, but once like you watch it and see it enough, it's like, oh yeah, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. So it doesn't fully make sense, but kind of makes yeah, sense. Yeah, kind of makes sense, yeah. okay. Let's see, we got Kathy and Travis from Mississippi. Mississippi, Thank what's up guys? guys? Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Got 164 people in, 312 likes. Look at that, that is awesome guys. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. If you haven't already, if you're new, please hit that like button if you are enjoying this. We yeah. did a super cool little quick project before. Um, anybody just popping in late, we did a lighting little project, ran two lights, hooked up a switch, 
Drilled some holes in floor joists, which is always just super fun. Um, notched out a floor joist even. Ledger, ledger. It was a ledger. Yeah. But yeah, so we've had a good stream going on. We've been going for 84 minutes 84 now, so about minutes. an hour and a half. Yeah. Um, cruising right along. To, moved on to the Merlot. Oh, yeah. You got a little little juice in there. From Center Valley, California. You're going to be part of the Purple Teeth Club? Yeah, yeah. always. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. So, and apparently Mike's cooking dinner. Mike's cooking shrimp scampi. Shrimp scampi. How about, do we have crushed red? <laughs> we got everything we need. Yeah, I we think have so. Enough, yeah, we have enough noodles for sure. Yeah, we always have enough noodles. Um, let's see. People are talking video games, Sims, Sims World of Tanks uh, and Raid. Yeah. yeah. I remember when The Sims, I don't know, it could still be big, but I remember like as yeah. a kid, The Sims, that was I like the, too, yeah. the game. Um, let's see. So Greg says they're finally getting some rain in the Bay Area. That's good. Nice. I saw, I, like been reading you guys have been in a pretty major drought still. So yeah. Pray for rain for you guys. Yeah, for real. That sucks. Yeah, glad you guys are getting it. We're about to be getting it. We had a little yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's supposed um, to rain all weekend though. Yeah, the next like seven days they're predicting rain for us. So. Yeah. Boy. That'll be mountain snow, hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah, we're getting there. Yep, maybe we could put out a vintage snowmobile ride. That would be cool. Yeah, truck it up and see if we can get into a little bit of snow. Yeah. yeah. Hunting season's still open. Yeah. A little snowmobile we hunting. Oh. Back out. Wow, that'd be awesome. Well, my season opens up here next week okay. for rifle. Yeah. Um, Gary asks, is there any plans for a shed over the sawmill? Yes, yeah. there are plans. Yeah, I thought about it. I hope out. it happens this winter, but it's like worst comes to worst this chance. winter. We're just gonna like cover it up real good with tarp the tarps, it. you know. Yep, just tarp but the crap out of it. We do want to put a shed over it for sure. Yeah, it'll be there um, probably next summer. The garden in that next summer would mm -hmm. be a nice goal. Fine, I'm excited. We got goals we're setting. Oh, excuse me, but uh, like I want to have the bathroom done. This, yeah, by really the nice. summertime, yes. the upstairs bathroom. So like we're setting goals for ourselves and mm -hmm. playing that game, which I think is good. It is good. It kind of holds like yourself accountable. Do it. Mm -hmm. That'll be really nice. Yeah, I want to get the bathroom done. I want to get the lighting done in the loft. As some of you may know, we don't have a uh, little bug. We don't have it's still lovely. there. We don't have lights. <laughs> we don't have lights. We don't have any what lights. don't you have? <laughs> but a lot of the like we're waiting on. Like we say, we're waiting on the like to put the lights in the ceiling because we don't have a like, we need ceiling, ceiling material and, yeah so like these new led yeah. flush mount lights you know it's not a can light anymore i guess everything I'll switch this everything just comes in good time like yeah it's all good really yeah we yeah. need our ceiling material up to put the lights up we yeah. still need to run the wires up in the attic for the lighting which in we're not looking there. forward to Luckily, it's not going to be the end of the world. Like there is a bit of room up there, but where we're getting some of these wires, it's it's not going to be super fun. So, Looking slightly avoiding that. Yeah, but we we just don't want to jump the gun and like put drywall up everywhere because we really like the ship lap. Ship lap, ship lap, ship lap. Yeah, we love it. Yep. So it just like I've said before, it takes a while, especially when we're milling it ourselves. It's the drying process, really, mm -hmm. um, and you know there is going to be a lot of comments on maybe a solar kiln, so that's could be cool, yeah. definitely in the cards as well. You know, it all just like it takes planning, it takes time, it takes supplies, yep. it takes the room, takes you know you need the area to do these. Um, yeah, it's not just like bing bing boom. Hypothetically, the kiln also needs to be at least 16 feet long. You know, if you're cutting 16 foot board, so that's a that's a big area. You need enough area to move this 16 mm -hmm. foot board that you're now going to be picking up and. So, okay. yeah. stuff takes planning, but yeah. Time. Well, luckily, hopefully, we got years and years. Yeah, we do. We do. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. We do. I'm hungry. Oh yeah. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm I'm feeling pretty good. I'm just about done with this. Good. Yeah, she's drinking wine. She's yeah, feeling good. Wine. That yeah. was all the wine now. So. The wine's gone. <laughs> Why is the wine always gone? Oh man, isn't that a rum joke? <laughs> because you're drinking it, Liz. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see. Got a lot of people, a lot of comments. Thank you guys for joining us. Yeah, this has been thank fun. you. Fun little project. Good yeah. catching up with you guys. Mm -hmm. Good keeping it real with you guys. Yeah. You Thanks know, for thank watching. you for all the well wishes with the back. It was actually really impressive and touching. Yeah. That there's tons of people out there that like genuinely care yeah. about how we're doing. So thank you. Put them out there for a while. Oh sucks. man, it, it just knocked goes me on to my show, ass. Like, I don't know how much you do because it's like, well, now what? Gotta, yeah. Got to get Mike better. Got to get better. So get just better. these little projects have been good, but 
Yeah, still moving it so it's still not healing completely. Yeah. He's, he's starting to stretch like he's he's drinking the yoga Kool Aid, right? <laughs> Once you see like how good it is for you. Wait till I make a video. I'm in yoga pants. Oh, <laughs> I have some you can borrow. Nope. <laughs> I'll stick to the gym shorts. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see. Morgan says something about chanterelle mushrooms should be in season. Oh, I don't know. Really I've like heard of those. I don't really like, know. We need to get into that. There's more like, mushrooms on our land, but we just haven't really. I don't know like noticed. what dictates how mushrooms grow throughout the year or like what makes them grow better in certain years than others, but yeah. this year I've noticed walking around in the woods hunting, there are mushrooms everywhere. Yeah, a lot of mushrooms. All different kinds. I wish I knew something about mushrooms because like, I'm telling you guys, I've hunted out in these woods for like at least the last probably 14 years, 15 years. In this year, something about it, like there are mushrooms everywhere. Some of them are huge, you know, mm -hmm. big orange with like white yeah, spots. Crazy and mushrooms. Some of them are also as big, but they're like all flat and rolly and brown. But yeah, just mushrooms everywhere this year. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I love mushrooms, so I'd love to get into that and like actually have some. He probably at least a quarter of these ones we're stumbling upon are edible. Yeah, the only mushrooms I've ever had, I think, in the wild are the morels. Yeah, the morels. Morels really grow around here sometimes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think all the time. I don't know where to find them. I've never yeah, been good at finding like, them. Some people, like, that's their they jam. They got their spots, yeah. Yep. Yeah, um, we need to get better at foraging. Got lots of berries around here. Lots of berries, yeah. We, we kind of apple trees. figured that out on our, like, just on our property, like, as mm -hmm. we moved here and kind of, like, discovered and everything, fruit mm -hmm. trees. I think we'll be pretty good. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, we're excited. I'm stoked on it. Yeah. Um, let's see. Thank you guys for joining us. We appreciate it. We really do. We're having fun. Um, do we still have chickens? Yep, we do. Mm -hmm. We actually lost one, our first. Ah, yeah. that was a shame. Was I a forgot bummer. about that. We haven't really told these guys about that yeah. either. We, we have, did lose a chicken. We started off with the 10 this last ten spring. Hens. 10 hens and a yeah. rooster. Well, we started off with the 10 hens. And then we got a rooster. Something got one of the one of the chickens for sure. The chickens, the hens love to like roost on the roof mm -hmm. of the coop sometimes. And like you guys have seen, we don't have a top over like where it is right now. And mm -hmm. I guess our reasoning for that is like we had chickens that we like literally moved from our old house to here and that was just kind of where we put them but we want to put our chicken coop down at the bottom like where the garden's going to be like in that area yeah connected yeah you know definitely a fence line separating but yeah. i want to be able to you know now when the garden's all done i want to mm -hmm. be able to let the chickens out into the garden right and they're going to do their do little their left thing. left right yeah. right thing you know right so yeah. that's just why we haven't put a thing yeah so unfortunately i think it could have been eaten. like a an owl i don't know that it was something. at night we actually heard it so i initially thought there was a bear getting into the garbage because mm -hmm. i heard like a really loud crash bang yeah um and we had a cinder block on top of the, the chicken, chicken coop, coop holding like a piece of wire to prevent them from getting up there didn't work obviously it didn't work that <laughs> yeah, day they just ignored so it. whatever got the chicken you know the chicken was on the roof we saw that there were feathers mm -hmm. askew on the roof it knocked that block off which caused the bang yeah and a, a piece of, like, the chicken coop fell off, basically. Like, yeah. A little lean to. So I don't know what could have gotten it. The fence was a little dented. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it could have been something from the ground. Yeah. It's just really hard to say. And it, it where it was, you know, something would have had to have jumped onto the roof. It, it's yeah. not like it can walk up. It's really bushy around mm -hmm. the coop itself. So, like, you would it would have had to leap, leapt onto yeah. the roof somehow. So I don't know oh, what type nice. of animal. And we don't have a game camera out there. We're actually using them on different points of the property. It would have been cool to see what got the chicken, but yeah, we did have one casualty so far. Yeah, unfortunate. So Not hopefully, bad. hopefully, like the rest of our flock make it until spring, which is we can do a nice one down which, there. Yeah, we want to build like their permanent spot. Yeah, so down at the bottom, have everything kind of connected. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. but one yeah, that's casualty. that's with the chickens. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're doing good though. Lots of eggs. Lots of eggs. I mean, we have, so at this point, we have nine hens, and I'd say we're getting at least seven eggs a day. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It'll slow down through the winter. It'll but slow down a bit, yeah. But we'll still get four or five eggs a day through the winter, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah, especially if we put a light on in the coop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you guys are having conversations. I can't even keep up with the comments. <laughs> Paul and, and I'm a fast reader. All right. <laughs> um, Paul and Morgan. I don't know what's going on. Eric in the house. Love you. Love you, brother. Thanks for <laughs> popping in. 
<laughs> Where? Um, oh, Eric, what's Eric up? Crazy, okay, yeah. yeah, I was. What's up? Super confused. <laughs> Liz is over here having their own conversations. Just with myself. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Solar kiln. Let's see. Lots of people are logging off. We're gonna go have dinner. Yeah, we're doing the same. You um, want to wrap this up? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, shrimp so. scampi time. That's what we're having, guys. Thank you. Whatever you're having, leave one more quick comment down below. Yeah. Because what are you guys having for Let's dinner? add it to our menu for next time. Shrimp scampi. Add okay. our shrimp scampi to your menu. Mike. Yeah. Scampi cool. by Mike. Thanks for joining us while we <laughs> <laughs> wire up our new secret room that you guys will be able to see here pretty soon. Yep. Thank you guys. Comes out. Okay. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Have a good night.